Paige, you are undoubtedly the best thing that has ever happened to me. Um, meeting you made me realize that everything I've ever been through was simply preparation for you, my destiny. You're the love of my life, you're my best friends, often my therapist, and an automatic win every time we play pool. <laughs> I realized I loved you very early on. In fact, embarrassingly, I spilled my guts and told you I loved you after our first Rockies game, our first date. <laughs> Which, of course, by the way, the Rockies lost that game. Yeah. I couldn't help but fall in love immediately with your sense of humor, your honesty, your drive and independence, your humility, and I always love the fact that you're a corner brownie person and I like the middle. Uh, your willingness to help others, even strangers, <laughs> and those long legs certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> I'll always remember and cherish our first year and a half of dating. I think of trading 500 mile drives, thousands of text messages, and dozens of hours of phone calls every few weeks is something I'll always cherish. I feel like that time period brought us this close and allowed us to get to know each other in a way only a few couples can ever hope to. I promise to always be your best friend, your teammate, your defender, and your biggest source of support. I vow to kiss you every night before bed and to never steal the covers unless you're hogging them again. I vow to never ever take your love for granted. I promise to continue to be your lifelong hiking and shopping partner. I swear to, I swear to continue to remind you to rinse the spoons before you put them in the dishwasher and to turn off the lights when you leave. I promise I will never stop make it, working to make our dreams a reality. Most of all, I swear that I will love you until we're gray and old. All my life, I've heard people talk about gut feelings, but somehow I went nearly 28 years without ever having one of my own. But on February 27th, or February 17th, sorry, 2017, I woke up with this undeniable feeling that I just needed to be in still water. You know, I'm not a morning person at all. Uh, so I laid in bed for a long time and I just tried to fight the feeling, but I couldn't. So I packed my bags and I hopped in the car and I made the 10 hour drive to Oklahoma. And then the next day I met you. Uh, when I look back on it now, I don't think it was just my gut talking, but it was also my heart. And it was screaming at me because I was so excited to go find you. I hope you know that as you're standing up here with me today, you're making all of my dreams come true. Never in a million years did I think I would find someone so completely perfect for me. Someone who'd make me happier than I ever dreamed I could be. Someone who could touch my life so profoundly and give me a whole new reason to breathe. And then I found you and realized that everything I even anticipated you to be doesn't even compare to how amazing you are. You know how to love me in all the right ways before I even knew myself. You were made for me. Two more pages. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you need it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want you to know that nothing in my life has ever felt more real than you. I admire you for your strength, your good heart, the way you love your family, your passion and your thirst for life. You're the hardest working person I know, and I've never doubted for a second that you'll always take care of me. You know me better than anyone. You know my weaknesses, my insecurities, my faults, and you've never made me feel judged or inadequate for them. I've never doubted that you wholeheartedly love me for me. I'm not here without you. Today I join my life to yours as your wife. And the decision to commit to sharing my life with you is the easiest decision I've ever made. I'm mindful. <laughs> with my entire heart, I take you to be my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strength as you do mine, and loving you even more because of them. I promise to have fun with you, to laugh with you, cry with you, clearly. Uh, <laughs> protect you in good times and in bad. I promise to always make your happiness my trap priority, even if that means I have to be the big spoon all the time. 
I promise to take your last name and all the nicknames that come with it and wear them proudly. <laughs> I promise I'll be a good mother to our kids someday. I promise to put the laundry away 80% of the time. <laughs> Not 100, you know I can't do that. I can promise 80. Um, I can't promise that I'll always be perfect. But I can't promise I'll always be perfect for you. And lastly, I promise that even though I'm unsure about those things in life, I'm certain that I love you. And I'll always love you. So thank you.